Hi, I am Deepak. In this video, I would like to show you how to create the index and how to manage it. To get it started, I have already logged into the Mongo shell and I am using the test date database. Let's see how many collection we have into that. So we can see we have the employee collection. To make it short, I have already inserted 1 million of employee into that collection. If you want to see how to insert the 1 million of record into MongoDB by the easy way, you, could, you can check out my previous course. Link will be then in the description. So let's check out like employee dot find dot count how many uh, employees we have into that so we can see we have almost 1 million let's check out how it look like so we have name field and department field on to that so let's uh, check the existing in uh, indexes on to that collection so for that we can use db dot employee dot get indexes so it will show all the indexes so we it already has the default index that is created on the id field so it's a, this index will be created by the mongodb itself and we cannot change it so but we can create the another indexes just for the reference of the query i have already prepared one gist file so you can get all these queries that I am writing into the Mongo shell right now. So let's say I want to create the index on department field. So I can use the mdb.employee.create index department as a key and uh, one as a order. So this is a single single key index. You can check out the MongoDB documentation for to get more information about single key multi key and compound indexes so so let's try the creating index as it has a 1 million record so it takes some times to create that index so in this time if it's in production environment and if you have a huge data so your application may not be accessi accessible during the mongodb uh, is creating index so we can to recover this problem we can create the index into the background so if you want to create the index you can specify the background option now let's check out the indexes again by using db.employee.get indexes now we can see we have almost two index that is newly created is a department <coughs> underscore one index so if you have not given any name to that index mongodb automatically give the name to index if you have the many indexes onto the collection so it will be really hard to understand anything about that indexes so we can specify the required name that is a meaningful to the indexes so let's say let's try it out like by giving the name to our index so let's say i am dropping the all index again so check out the index there is no index rather than the default id index so let's try the index once again by specifying the name to that index okay so, so let's check out the indexes now we have two index and the name of that index is a department dep underscore index so that can be the any meaningful in name okay. now this was the single key index if you want to give the multi key index we can create by specifying the 
multiple key into the create index query so it will create the index with combination of key that is a name and the department like check out the indexes so we can see we have the another third index that is on name and department so then automatically assign name will be the name underscore one underscore department underscore one that is the default name given by the mongodb now let's say if you want to drop any specific index that you by mistakenly created or that is not the as you required so you can drop the index by specifying the given name so let's say we previously created the dept underscore index so we can drop it by specifying the query drop index so it, it gives the output as the the previously total index was 3 and ok 1 means it is successful now if you check the how many index on the collection so it will show us uh, only two indexes okay. if you want to drop all the indexes so we can specify the employee dot drop indexes it will remove all indexes from the employee collection now the result of that query will be the how many index was previously and uh, we can see that uh, it only remove the indexes that is rather than the id because it's by default index now let's check out the index once more so we only has the id index now and so that's how we can create the any index and we can also drop the index or maybe the all the indexes now if you want to modify any existing index so there is no uh, such a way to modify instead of that we need to delete the index first and then recreate the index with the modified configuration and that's all thank you